Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. I'm going to work on a prompt page this morning. I have uh, a few minutes before I go into work, which is not a regular work day. I know sometimes I come down here on a work day, but today is not a work day, but I do need to go into the office. And I just thought I would start off my day with a little creativity and um, bring you guys along. So I, um, I got the prompts from Janet Nash this week, and I will leave her like at you know, channel thing down below. And so please, if you guys don't already follow Janet, I'm sure most of you do. Um, she does a live every Monday, which is just like the most relaxing time. I try to watch it on replay because I can't necessarily watch it that morning. But regardless, um, she pulls prompts one at a time and does them in her journal or something, a postcard, a bookmark. It can be anything. I like to do them in my journal or in this journal. Anyway, all of that to say, here we go. This is my journal I'm working in. I know if you are um, a regular here, welcome back. This is a journal you have seen multiple times. It is literally just a junk journal I made. If you're new here, welcome. I'm super glad you're here. Please say below. Please say hello um, below if you'd like to. Um, I'd love to get to know you. Um, I have marked in here some pages that are not used, so to speak. Um, but I'm going to make some executive decisions. I'm not going to do anything else on this. Well, look at that. I, I'm going to, I'm going to just take that back. <laughs> I will come back and decorate this a little bit more. It's not going to be for a journal page because I already put my name on there. I don't know what I did that for, but regardless. Okay. Here is the next option, this poor page. So this is like this on both sides. This was the same on this side and this, um, you know, front and back. And then the opposite one in the back of my book, front and back were not used. I obviously had a very hard time using this piece of paper. So this, this is an option for today. I do have, um, a little tiny one here. I know, um, just this piece, um, this, I don't want to use, and this, I made part of this one. So I'm going to, I don't know what we'll do with that, but we'll leave that sticky there. This is another half page thing that's not used. So I'm not feeling that. And let's see, we have um, this one, which is interesting. It already has a little bit of like a clear pocket on it. So that might be interesting today. This one is obviously available. And do I have one more? I do have this one. That's interesting. I already glued her on there, obviously. I think I'll maybe just come back and finish her on my own. And then I have the back page, which again, I think I've decided I may leave and kind of say goodbye to this journal or something like that on here. I'm not too sure, but I don't think that's it. So that means we're on here today, folks. That today is the day. Here we go. This is exciting. Oh, and because my sticky notes don't really stick, I glued it on and now it's obviously on there. Let me make sure I, ha I haven't pulled a thing. Let me make sure I have you. Here is the list. You again, go to Janet's channel on YouTube, go to the community tab and you can see all her prompts. So today we're doing lemon, black dots, blue, faux washi tape, scrunch and fabric. Hmm. Now that's interesting only because I have this one in my mind right now. Maybe we'll do this one because look, it already has a blue background. Okay, we're going to change our mind. We're going to take the sticky off of here. Oh, this poor little page. I'm just so resistant to using it. I don't know why. Okay, we're going to go with the blue. I will put this paper here just so it allows me a little bit of blank space. It is fat. I don't know if it will allow me to fold over or not. Let's see if I can get, no, it's absolutely not going to do that. So we'll just work with what we have. Okay. So we're on this blue page. So lemon, I grabbed this very quickly just because, um, uh, like I saw it and I had read the prompts, um, earlier in the week. So I don't know if we'll use that lemon or not black dots. Now that's interesting. My first thought is, um, just some washi. So we'll, we'll, put it out. We can obviously paint. Um, I have, I have a few options for, for washi with black dots. So, um, there's, I mean, there's lots of things with black dots. Are any of those the same? No, they are not. So we'll, we'll keep those out just for fun. 
Um, let's see. I have a bunch of stuff I'd like to go through. I do have a little pile of lemon stuff here, ironically, because I was going to make like a lemon page. Look, make lemonade. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. That's cute. Um, gosh, that's cute. Now, just because we prepped it, I know we have this whole, I know we have this whole thing, although this is a small page. See how much smaller that is there? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking, did you hear the wheels like click, click, click in my brain? <laughs> Um, okay, you guys, this is literally starting from scratch. Um, oh, I bet I have, I mean, there's other lemons. See, there's these little lemons, like those are cute. I like literally I had a little, this one says love you. And it has, well, those are more like pineapples. I obviously had like an idea. I kind of want, oh, 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 oh. Look right here. When life gives you lemon, ask for salt and tequila. That's funny. And look at the little to-do list. Okay, I think we can work with the lemon situation here. That's what I think. I think um, I think blue, I think I'm not going to do a double page, so I'm going to cover it back up. Blue is taken care of, so we'll cheat and do that. Again, if you're new here... Um, I always say I do cheat on these um, because, excuse me, Janet pulls these prompts one at a time and does them in order. So like lemon, she would have added a lemon. Black dots, she'd add black dots. I obviously get the whole list. I know there's no cheating, but it is different than the experience doing it live with her. So if you get the opportunity, head on over. Um, faux washi tape. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? I happen to have some faux washi tape. Um, I have, I have a few different things. I have some nail polish that I've put on, um, clear sticker paper. I also have like clear, um, but that's not, that's not super fun. So I have these little faux washi strips that I've been, I mean, I guess that's what we call them, right? Oh, there's punches. They don't go in here. You're on the wrong basket. This is me being super organized, you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I have these little pieces of washi that I've made. I guess we call them washi, right? With pieces of paper um, just at the end of my day or whatever. I'm absolutely loving these. So I think we'll use one of these. Yeah. I mean, look at the fun. Isn't that fun? Just from the scraps on your desk. So I did make a video on it, a very short one. It's not my idea. I, I got it from multiple other people. This one I actually got in Happy Mail a long, long time ago, made from material. Um, and these, like I said, I just made, this one I made last night, you guys, that's my gum wrapper from yesterday. Shh, don't tell my dentist. Okay. Um, so I think we have that. Now scrunch is interesting and fabric. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just, let's just, see what I have. I have a little bag of um, magic hair. This is not, I don't have a huge ribbon selection, but, um, oh, see, this is in the wrong. This was all I had, and then I reorganized it, and I do have a little bucket. I have some fabric pieces, and I have some more ribbon now, so um, that will have to go in a different thing, but, and I might reorganize this situation because I have to do this to get it out. I have, I found some more goodies. These are from Sweet Elizabeth at Never Hopeless, and she made them. <sighs> and they still smell. Okay. Um, she keeps them. Look at that. Now, I, I want to pull one of these because um, this one I used part of, and then I saved this little bit. Um, and I think that's all I have in here left. That's the end of it. Oh, there's another one. Maybe that's the one for today. <gasps> okay. I think that's the end of it. So these are kind of ribbons, but um, this is made out of fabric. Here's another fabric piece. 
Okay, I feel like I tried to make some of these. I don't know. Did I, Elle, did I send you fabric and you made, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, see, here's another one. I don't do this very well, I will tell you. I have tried and they don't come out as amazing as her little wormies. So uh, we're going to use that. That's exciting that I have it here and I know where it is. This I'm not loving because like I said, I got to take it in and out. But oh, look at that, a paper clip. I've been working on paper clips this morning. So much fun. Oh, that's a fun one. Um, I don't know where this goes. I'm going to put it with my other altered paper clips I'm working on, I think is what I'm going to do. Um, now that I have to hang back up and that needs a moment. So, okay. So I think we have, um, well, I'm not going to use this one or this one. So I'll put those back and then, um, I was kind of hoping for like a, a big lemon. I guess we could paint one. Did that even come out of my mouth? I don't know how to paint. I mean, I do, I do, I do. I could, I know, I know. Um, I was hoping for like a big focal point, right? Of, of a lemon is what I'm trying to say. And I filmed a video recently. And so I have some stuff here where it doesn't actually belong. So I have to move it to get to what I want to get to. Um, I'm wondering if there is a giant lemon somewhere in one of my books is what my thought is telling me. Oh, I have a lemon in one of my sticker books. I should have a lemon. This is me pulling from my brain. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... It should be in one of the teacher books. Yes. Do you remember? Um, you guys, I'm literally shifting shit over here. Excuse my language. That's what my dad says. <laughs> uh, I think I used it already. See this teacher book? See this sticker? Oh, it says seize the day. Oh, I was like, would that be crazy? There's a pineapple. I think I used it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Are we going to have to paint a lemon? Uh. Yeah, I think I used it. We didn't see it, right? You would tell me if you saw it. Um, oh, it was right there. Okay, there's that one. Um, this is memory keeping really quickly. Just lemon, lemon. You guys, it's almost time for fall. Oh, there's some lemons. Well, that's kind of cute. We could add those. I just, again, was kind of looking for or hoping for a big focal point. Um, I mean, like, this is fun, but it doesn't quite fit. I'm going to make, like, a thing that goes in the pocket, I think. And I think we'll do something, you know, like this. Or maybe that will be, let's see. I guess we could do that and make like a card that fits in there and this could actually be the okay that's fun okay let's do that um I'm gonna go down here to my scrap um my scrap drawer watch us find some lemon paper in here I'm looking for a piece that will go in the pocket. I mean, we can cut it, obviously. I want to make sure I have you guys. Okay. Um, like, um, yes, I know I need to clean up my scrap drawer. It's kind of a mess. Um, because pieces like this make it in there and then it's like, what do you do with those? 
let's see anything in here I don't know what I'm looking for but I will know when I find it how about that oh look I kind of like the black like if we're going to bring that black in that's interesting um it's almost not okay here's my idea I think I want to go like that It's not quite big enough, but that's an option. All right, let's go to our bigger pieces then. I mean, the red's kind of fun. Hmm. Okay. You guys, if I go like really quiet, that's just my brain. It, I only apparently can do one thing at a time, talk or think. <laughs> I was just thinking, having a little conversation with myself. It's okay. It's healthy. That's, I love that print. So dang cute. Now, the other rule that I try to abide to, because I, I like rules. Um, <laughs> I know there's no rules, you guys. Uh, the other thing I do try, though, is like, I don't want to get up from my desk. I have so much in my scrap room. See this? It's in the wrong drawer. Um... I have so much in here, you guys, that I could go looking in my drawers to find the perfect piece of whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. Or in my um, scrapbook papers. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look through my drawers that are right here. All my pieces. Look at how much stuff we have to choose from. So that's kind of why. Um, yeah, that's it's just kind of another fun way for me to kind of work through my stuff. So. Um, I mean, I was hoping I'd find the perfect piece. Obviously, that's not it. Um, here's some little bits. They go on top, obviously. I don't know how things got organized, and I'm going to have to reorganize this. A Look at the pretty papers down here, you guys. Holy cow. All right, let's do this. And let's do this. Take those two piles out. Okay, this is, well, that would be, mm, that's kind of fun, huh? Because it kind of goes with those colors. Um, okay, that's definitely an option. That's, these are pieces I've obviously cut off when I made another, you know, book. They didn't get clipped into a, a stack yet. Oh, this goes with the embossing stack. All right. Um, no, no, and no. Those will clip in there. I do like to kind of keep them by size, but I'm very conscious also that I don't want to cut all these. I love watching those videos when people cut down their entire um, stack into cards, like four by six, two by threes, blah, 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 five by seven, whatever it is. I'm like, oh, that just makes me so happy. Um, oh, now that's interesting because that would take care of our polka dot problem, wouldn't it? But I don't like it. It's not wide enough. Um, okay, I think we're going to go with the, I think we have three choices, so we can, these are too thin. But I also know that I still want, um, you know, longer pieces or smaller bits or just whatever. So I have consciously decided not to cut it all down, even as fulfilling as those videos are. Oh, now that's interesting. I swear I have a lemon piece like this. I did start to pull them for something. I'm not... Um, so, okay, let's, I think that, oh, look at the pumpkins. It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's the most wonderful time of year. Okay, that's going to be our other option. So we're down. I'm going to take those three. I'm going to take those three. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll reclip those. We'll put this stack back. And we'll put this, oh, that kind of goes like that. Okay. You got to ooch it a little bit. My drawer is almost full. See this? This is my container of scraps. So, you know the rule when it's full, it's full. Okay, here we go. We might have to be making some major, major master boards soon. Okay. So 
We are now down to this. I'm going to make some sort of card. I think the red, the red's out. See how easy that is? And now it goes back in its little drawer. I do like the black. Um, I really like this one. This is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, here we go. So, uh, what do I want to do with this? I want to kind of decide how long I want it. And it's going to be something close to that, maybe. And so we will cut it there. You guys, my husband, I went to work today, even though, no, it's not a work day <laughs> for either one of us. Um, he went to pick up some stuff. I got to go into work because I left my stuff there and I got to, I got to get work done. Now I could come home and work on it, but I think I'll just probably do it there. It's, is it easier or am I, I'm just less distracted. Let's be honest. Um, this needs to fit in the pocket. I'm going to cut, you know. Oh, that's interesting. What side do I want to cut? Actually, I think I want to cut off the darker side a little bit. And we'll just, do we, do we want to measure the pocket at all? Are we in the mood to do that? I feel like it's like maybe less than three and a half. Okay. So let's, do something like that. Now see this, this we're going to save because it will go on um, a piece of tape today. Okay. Okay. Does this fit in here? Oh, it certainly does. Oh, but not that deep. Why? Why? What's happening? You know what's happening. Allison glued it shut. That's what's happening. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm. Come on, little plastic pocket. You can do it. There you go. I don't know what came in this plastic pocket, but I thought it was fun for a journal page. So I glued it on here a while ago. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. We're, oh, and I ripped my paper a little bit. That's okay. We're going to fold it over on this side and use the folded side as the back. We're going to use this as the tab like this. So it's going to fold in. It's going to go into the pocket like this. Yeah. I'm liking it. Okay. So we've taken care of none of the prompts. <laughs> it's okay. We're going slow. Um, My original thought was I would use one of these like as a tab, but I'm not going to do it. So it'll have to go into the page somewhere. Fabric scrunch. And faux washi tape and black dots. Okay. So, um, I think for my black dots, I'm going to put, um, washi down here at the bottom. And I think I'll do something not, this is pretty like uniform, if you will. And I think these are too thin. Um, so I'm just going to do black dots here. Okay. So that's that. That's exciting. And then we can put all of these away. Um, that's not exactly how they go, but mm, that's all right. All right. There's that. Oh, buddy's up. Buddy, buddy, buddy boy. Okay. So, and I think we'll just do, you know, kind of, kind of crooked like that. I'm going to use tape so it doesn't ooch around too much. It's a little bit probably thicker than I wanted, but that's all right. One, two, three. All right, that's done. These cute little guys could go down here, huh? That's funny. Let's do that. And 
We'll cut them out a little bit. I don't think I need their little page they're on. How cute are they? They're like dancing lemons. Um, yeah, that's cute. All right. Now, if I had not already had a little thing of pulled lemons for whatever I thought I was going to work on, mm, I don't know if I would have been able to find these little guys. So that's the problem with A, having too much stuff, or B, um, like kind of doing it in a hurry, if you will. I don't, I'm not saying I'm in a hurry, but like it would take me a while to go through all my stuff and figure out, you know, um, but at whatever point I'd kind of put a little, a couple of them together because I don't know, I was obviously going to make a page, um, that started off as maybe a little bit more, um, inspirational and turned into a little bit more sarcastic. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought, Allison? I'm putting them back in my little lemon pile over here for now because I don't know. I do know what I was going to make it like for or about, but, um, but yeah. Okay. So this guy is going in here like that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we have now used lemon and we've used black dots. Okay. So all we have to do now is faux washi tape and scrunch fabric. Well, the scrunched fabric is, is this together, right? I don't know. Yeah, we're doing it together and fabric. So those are going to be, and I think that's the piece unless I want to, I mean, this could be the piece right here. We could just staple that on. That might. Actually, we're going to use the little tiny piece. We're going to do it. It's coming together. And let's just make sure I'm not. I just watched another video with an idea on scrunching, but I'm not in the mood. <laughs> and I got to go, so. All right, there we go. All right, so scrunch and fabric I put together and it's bada bing, bada boom. Now, the question is, the question is this, do we have a piece of faux washi tape in here that we could use? And by can we use, I mean that makes my brain happy with, that's kind of a bummer because I kind of like this down here. I know that seems weird. I mean, we could put it, We could put it down the side. That one's not bad. The like this sort of stuff is not gonna go. You guys, I use this purple thing. Oh my gosh, my washi. Um, out of this other piece, and so I decided to save the purple. And this is like the most random. Uh, like I don't know if I'll ever use that, but that's okay. Um, I mean, any of this, that's fine. Okay, this is a no. This is a no. That's off the one of the last pages we made. That has some fabric on it. Um, see the purple in these, you guys? <laughs> this is, I mean, these were literally off other pages I made and these were my leftover scraps. So, um, that one's kind of fun. These are very busy. This is my old background, right? My calendar underneath that I cut up. Um, not loving any of these. That one's not bad. Okay. Okay. Now this is the difference. Um, and I guess I'll just choose from these two. Um, this is the difference when you, this is what it looks like when you make it or when I make it, at least I just put bits on there, right across the tape. Now I leave them wonky because I normally like them wonky like this, but if you were to cut the edges off, they look like this. And this is, I think, what we're going to use today. So 
I am going to cut it down even one more time and see if um, let's I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll see if this works, folks. I feel like this is a major commitment at this point because I don't have a hold on that tape. Ah, it's okay. It's not happy with me, but it's okay. It's also not equal. That is also okay. All right, so I feel like I was just going to run a thing down this side like this. Um, this side's too busy. It's got to go over here or it could go across the bottom, but that makes me sad. Um, I mean, that doesn't look bad, actually. If we run it down this side... I guess we could put it here. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then I'm actually going to put a piece on the inside as well as a little surprise for when we do our journaling. I'm going to run it right across. This is the Ziploc, um, you know, the top of the packaging. I cut off the bottom of the packaging, obviously. This is, so it's kind of bumpy right here. I'm going to, I'm going to do something like that. Okay. And then on the inside, as you flip open your card, we'll, we'll run a little piece down the, um, across the bottom here. And it's not straight on one edge, so... Okay. Okie dokie. Now, do we save this? No, we don't need to save this little piece. We could. We don't need to. Okay. So that's going to be our card. Now, I'm actually going to um, journal in here today, but um, <laughs> that will be our card. So there you have it, folks. Done and done. Um, lemon. Couple lemons black dots, blue is the background, faux washi tape we made right here, and scrunched fabric we have right here. Janet, thank you as always for the inspiration. Um, I do have um, a little bit more. So, oh, here's some glitter on clear tape. So we could have used this for faux washi. This is the other thing I do when I put Mod Podge on um, my clear sticker tape, I cut it into strips and it makes a little bit of washi and I obviously use this on a page, but we don't need to do that. Now, um, ironically, we have lemon stickers and little black dots right here. So I'm actually going to use some of these on this page because I think they're kind of fun and I think it will add um, a little a little detail, right? Um, and look, it's fun because you could put it on the top and it looks like you don't know. You don't know. We could put it on the card. Um, but we don't need to. Look at how fun that is. I love it. I love it. I do love me a clear sticker. That's for sure. Um, put one down there. And we'll use up the last one up here, maybe. Okay. That's kind of fun. And I don't think we need the lemons. So we will not go crazy with the sticker book at this moment. Um, and there you have it, you guys. There is my little journal page for today. So little inspiration for you. Let me see if I can get you in a little bit closer so you can see it. All right. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you being here. I love this community so much. I love the inspiration I find from all of you. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you're doing something creative today, whether it's a quick little something just to get your brain going, or if you're journaling or documenting, scrapbooking, whatever it is, knitting, I don't know. Um, do what brings you joy. How about that? So, all right, that's it for me. I hope you have a great day and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.